in today's fast paced industrial landscape safety and efficiency are paramount and sick safety scanners have successfully addressed this issue over the past few decades with its 2D area monitoring scanners now sick being the pioneer of innovation has come out yet again with a new device which is a 3D time of flight camera that offers safety in three dimension hi my name is tj singh and i'm the sick product specialist at enm in southern california the new sick safe visionary 2 can help you attain maximum productivity for example application with collaborative robots usually work in conjunction with safety scanners but they constantly get stuck when people get too close this is because of residual risk since leaning in cannot be detected so we have to keep larger stopping areas which causes more downtime but with the new safe visionary tools 3d protective field you can customize your operation and hence attain maximum productivity the safe visionary tool offers a bunch of benefits it has 4 meter protective stop range along with three dimensional measurement data which you can use for various automation tasks it also comes packed in a compact body which means application with space constraint is no longer an issue it is also a solid state device which means it's got no moving parts and hence vibration and shocks are no problem which means it's a perfect fit for agvs and other mobile applications It also is IP65 and IP67 rated. Lastly, programming it is a piece of cake with our safety designer software which is extremely intuitive to use. Now let me show you a quick demo of the software so you can see how easy it is to set up. So the very first thing that you notice on the top is the menu bar and on the left side is the navigation bar which is top to bottom. Uh, the first tab is overview where you can see all the details of the device like part numbers uh, firmware versions and everything else next step is to set up your uh, ip address which we can do it right here then when you go to configuration you have an option of readout where you can bring all the data that's already stored in the device the configuration files Uh, right now it's empty so we'll go to identification this is where you can define your project as well as your application title uh, if you have multiple devices you can also add that here next step is monitoring setting so this is crucial because uh, you define your application here whether it's a stationary or a mobile application and then you have to select your resolution which is what's the uh, smallest size that you're trying to detect so if i'm doing hand i i can select that if i want to do an arm you would also notice on the right side in this column the warning field uh, range as well as my response time things change as i select the resolution uh, also the maximum resolution we can do uh, is 4 meters which is if i turn on increase scanning range but the limitation is that it has to be with body detection only but uh, for the demo purpose i'll just do hand detection where i still get a protective field of 1 meter and warning field of 7 meters after i define that i also can do multiple sampling so this is basically the multiple which defines how many times an object needs to be detected before a trigger or an output is uh, sent so we keep it two Uh, for faster response times uh, in 3d editor we can define our fields and mounting configuration so uh, you can see this is what the scanner sees right now i can split the screen with the 2d camera and the 3d data points and you can see my hand as i wave in front of you right now so in this demo what we're going to do is we'll create a 3d uh, protection zone right here and then we'll try to see if it locates this box if it comes in and infringes that uh, protection field all right so for mounting i can just do uh, my uh, uh, the regular preset which is horizontally and next is calibration data and contours we are not going to use this but you can get a measurement data out of it as well as you can set counter fields so in fields and roi you can set your protective fields so what i'm going to do now is 
on the right side i'm going to add a field set and then in field set i'm going to add one protective field once i click on protective field you can see uh, the camera shows right here so what uh, i i'm going to do is just uh, get only the 3d measurement data and then zoom in so as you can see uh, i don't even need a 3d mouse i can just use a regular mouse because the interface is really easy to operate with the left click i can move my position and with the right i can rotate it and i can very clearly see this is the desk right here and this is where i'm going to set up my protective field so all i'm going to do now is uh, zoom out and add my uh, cuboid which is aligned to the camera and uh, so this is the object and i'm just going to drag this further in right here so once i'm here i can see uh, i am too close to the desk right now because on the right side you can see this exclamation point which actually shows that uh, the field is being infringed so now it's m uh, once i pull it back you can see it's empty and uh, once this is set you can go ahead and go to inputs and outputs this way you define your function for each individual pin so 2 and 4 is obviously your safety output and i'm not using anything else but i have an option to do resets get alerts uh, from my outputs as well as send in uh, inputs for change in monitoring fields and uh, as well as resets next step is to go into monitoring cases this is where you can just drag your field set that you created onto the monitoring case once you do that you can set your ossds which is the safety field and hence you turn that on uh, as input one after that you can go to transfers and then just transfer the configuration to your device it's going to ask you to verify the configuration once you verify it click on this button and now it's set we can go under diagnostic which is really helpful to see what the sensor sees and if i see here my monitoring cases uh one which is also my cutoff path one this is low right now which means the field is not infringed and the application can just run without any safety uh, without any hazard but if you notice here uh as i turn this box in the field it triggers the cutoff path and hence sends the stop signal and that's exactly how this device works and uh, it's extremely easy to use thank you for watching this video if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me at the email provided on the screen thank you